When it comes to buying Christmas gifts, how do you feel? Do you start breaking out like in a cold sweat and be thinking, I've got this list. Look at these people that I have to buy for. What am I going to get them? Or is it something that you just truly enjoy, like that challenge of finding the right gift for the right person? I mean, I don't know about you, but I think the trickiest of all can be like buying gifts for grandparents. Is it just me that thinks that, you know, they seem to have everything and like, what do you do? What do you get them? Well, we're coming up to Christmas and let's today look at Christmas gifts for grandparents. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life, and thank you so much for joining me today as we kick off the Christmas season. Oh, it is such a great time. It really is. I love Christmas, except for maybe one thing, the stress of buying presents. You know, I'm like, I think it would be just great if I could research things and just send people some research, like Merry Christmas. Did you want to know about this? It's not always the easiest, but I love to research and I love to share with people. And that's what these videos are for. And I thank you for watching and for your likes and your comments and for subscribing. And thank you for sharing with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Well, you know, we have, well, my girls have grandparents that live in three different countries. It makes it a little bit tricky when it comes to Christmas. You know, you're looking at things like, what can we get them? Do we mail them from here? Like, how long is it going to take them? When do we have to mail it? You know, that's an added stress that we have as a family. And there are some things that we have done, you know, to just sort of really help with that and to especially help with international postage that over the years has just sort of gone astronomically through the roof to even send like the basic things. I understand, you know, so we try to use things like Amazon, like in Australia or in Germany, you know, to like send or, you know, when I'm just like, hey, here's some money, go and do something nice. Merry Christmas. Um, you know, it is hard like for grandparents. And I think especially as well, like when your grandparents just seem to have everything that they could want. I mean, like, well, what do you get them? And and I've poured over lists over the years of like to trying to get some ideas. And, you know, like I know my parents, so like they're my girl's parents, you know, and my in-laws. And you're sort of looking at it going, what would they like? What can we get them? You know, do they want to have something homemade by the girls? You know, I always think that there is something about winning, winner chicken dinner about homemade gifts by your grandchildren. Like my girls in a way miss out on doing a lot of the homemade stuff for their grandparents because they don't live anywhere near them. I mean, they love to do things like making like these clay hand prints, which are absolutely adorable, but will that actually make it through the postage? Probably not baby girls. I am so sorry about that, but you know, wonderful to just receive something. I love it when my girls make something for me and I've I have a feeling that when I'm a grandparent, I just want to get something about like the grandchildren. You know, when it looks at it, I'm like, go for fun. Okay. My grandfather, Pa, is what we called him. You know what? He and Nan, they had anything that they wanted. They didn't really need anything. But he took great delight in Christmas when we made something for him. And in fact, my brothers and I would make him rum balls. And we were notoriously known for adding too much alcohol into it. We were kids. We would just add extra and he loved it. He would actually count how many rumbles he got and he would then ration out how long would it take, you know, and if he had one a day and he was not going to share. And then like there was a time when we got him a whole bunch of rubber ducks and little plastic sailboats for his pool. Oh, he thought that that was brilliant as he floated his rubber ducks and he had like his little boats out on his pool. You know, to him, that was amazing. And I think in my family, we do tend to go for fun for, for Christmas gifts. I mean, I've received secondhand books, which I love, or a whole lot of chicken things over the years because everybody called me Chook. 
And I love that. And so sort of bringing that fun into Christmas gifts for grandparents is a wonderful thing. Now, here are some fun ideas that we have done, like for my parents and my girls' uh, grandparents. We've done like a photo blanket. I mean, their favorite twins. Hello. Uh, You know, they've made them tie-dyed shirts. We've done a collection of photos to hang, even canvas prints. You know, there really are a, a lot of things along that line that we can do, and even ones that we can actually sort of do online, like for Australia, and have it sent to them which just makes it easier. You know, what are some things that you can do though if you don't live close to your grandparents and postage is ridiculous, which it is? You know, why not subscriptions to like magazines or wines or cheese or whatever it is that they enjoy? I know my grandfather loved his wine that he got every month. And my other grandfather, he used to give my dad the Reader's Digest subscription I mean, as kids, we all love that. I I remember sitting on the toilet for far too long just reading the Reader's Digest. Subscriptions can be great, something to look forward to every month. And of course, gift cards are great. You know, it's just helpful. You know, I know we can overthink Christmas and do we go above and beyond. I'm personally of the, it's the thought that counts and, you know, just giving something that can be enjoyed, you know, again, anything digital that could be delivered like to their house is always easier. Now, if we come to homemade, as I said, homemade is a winner. I mean, who doesn't really for a while want cute little handprints? I mean, and to watch them grow. I mean, so handprint ornaments are great. Or like photo ornaments, like you can have them, you can get the the, just the clear balls, gosh, you can even get them at Dollar Tree and put photos inside for the grandparents so they can watch their grandchildren grow up year after year. How fantastic is that? You know, like Etsy stores have been often some great ideas. And actually down below, I'm going to post my friend's Etsy store because she does some fantastic uh, digital downloads that you can then personalize with hand prints and feet prints and stuff like that, you know, for so many different occasions, which are perfect that you could then like have printed out and framed for grandparents, even parents, you know, whoever it is, uh, you know, things like that are great that you can personalize with your children's handprints or footprints, you know, maybe have your child write something and have that printed on something like a pillowcase or a cushion, you know, I love you, Papa, whatever is they call their grandparents, you know, those things are great. I remember making cushions for my Nana and my Nan and loved going over to their house and seeing them in a place of pride on their couch, you know, that just really gave that connection there. Or have your children write a story, illustrate it, and then have it printed out as a book. Maybe it is a story about them with their grandparents, you know, memories that they have, things that they've done. Doesn't even have to be that. It can be any sort of story, but to then receive a book that your grandchild has written. I mean, there are so many ideas and I will give some links on my blog post about it, you know, just with some good ideas that don't have to be expensive. They can be fun, that are family oriented, that just are part of like the, the grandkids and really making that connection at Christmas time. Because honestly, to me, I think that's really one of the joys of it of Christmas gifts for grandparents is that heart connection and watching children grow, watching that love and that bond grow and develop. So let's have fun with it this Christmas and think, oh, what fun things can we do? You know, 20 rubber ducks and a few plastic boats are amazing. And that lasted a long time. We had a great time with that and Pa talked about it for ages, you know, so that was a winner. And of course, you really can't beat rum balls. Well, thank you so much for watching today and for being part of Learning Life. And I hope that this maybe spurred on some ideas for you. Don't forget to check out the blog post at learningthis.life with some more links and ideas for you. And if you like Learning Life and you want to be part of this and help us to grow and get that word out there, well, you can join us as a champion and you can do that through patreon.com or through my website, learningthis.life. 